1935 to 1960, New Orleans, Louisiana. The first simplex was powered by a Peugeot V-Twin back in 1902. This simplex, also known as the Servi Cycle, was built by the Simplex Manufacturing Company of New Orleans, Louisiana. Designer Joseph Treen mounted a simple two-stroke engine low in a lightweight motorcycle chassis. Simplex suspended production in 1942 because of the war and resumed in 1946. Despite its long life, the Simplex got old-fashioned with the arrival of the Honda 50, and the company went out of business in the early 60s. The Simplex, which had by far the longest run of any American lightweight machine, changed very little over the years. Um, and I hang this one here over over my head as sort of a sort of Damocles to remind me that you must innovate, innovate or die. Uh, there's a there's an archetype called the tragic Southern male. Have you ever heard of that? So you you re you relate to Rhett Butler? Yeah. Well, what I'm saying is I'm I'm interested in going where I think I'm needed rather than where I think I'm wanted. I think it's more significant. In the long run. And so you think that New Orleans needs entrepreneurs, needs motorcycle culture, needs industrial design, it needs people making things. It needs people making things in the right neighborhoods because design feeds on an environment. It's, it's not with uh, giant factories. I'm not talking about a uh, General Motors factory. I'm talking about craft manufacturing in the 21st century. That's where this country needs to go. That's critical. It's the most important thing, innovation. And innovation comes invariably in the 21st century from outside of big industries rather than from within. There, there are eight internal patents and one external patent associated with this project. I think that's strong. So the answer is, I don't know. Which is, which is honest and true and, and 21st century entirely. I don't know.